niggas don't know what they did. Niggas don't know what they did. I have the spot jumping just like baby kids. For all my niggas doing bids. All my niggas doing bids. Keep your head up, go ahead and pump a set. These niggas don't know what they doing. This shit right here from the sword. Just be power maneuver. Cut that yours, the new ones. Trump fill with sabers and rulers. Waves deep like a scuba. Can't imagine this dope with a ruler. These lines deep like a tumor. We don't move on a soul. I don't know if these scoot just sell to the obvious consumer. The diamonds in my ears clear. Shout out to my chula. Uh, bought with some Smith and Wesson and some cop and a new one. Nigga, these niggas don't know what they did. Niggas don't know what they did. I have the spot jumping just like baby kids. For all my niggas doing bids. All my niggas doing bids. Keep your head up, go ahead, pump a set. These niggas don't know what they did. Niggas don't know what they did. I have the spot jumping just like baby kids. For all my niggas doing bids. All my niggas doing bids. Keep your head up, go ahead, pump a set. Yo, yo, I feel like we getting a free concert in here. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Cloudy Kickback. Man, and we got Mr. Elon to die in this motherfucker. Yes, part two, part two, part two. Hey, hey, what real quick, man? If you was here with us, we was in the struggle. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying. So we was in the trenches, yeah, my nigga. We was in the trenches, bro. We, we was, was on the way. We was in East Cleveland. My nigga, she was on the beginning. We had my nigga on the couch. We even had my nigga in a proper chair. I'm like, oh, shooting on the camera. Ah, man. But my ass Instagram. Anyway, so, you know, you know actually, it's, it's a wonderful thing to have you back. How you like the studio, man? How, how, how you, you like, like it, bro? I was loving it, bro. Y'all got the little turf in the back and shit. Okay. Nice little lights and shit. The turf. Oh, a little, little yeah, sauce. You know we yeah, trying to compete yeah. with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, say that my nigga Eli, when he put his finger on something, bro. It's gold. No, that shit going to be elite. Touch, man. No, I know it's going to be elite, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. That nigga, I feel like, from watching this juice, Nigga don't like nothing basic, you know what I'm saying? He not no, he a polished like, he real average. like a elegant, how they say about the Jedi weapon, it's an elegant yeah, yeah, weapon. Yeah, My nigga, elegant, elegant ass, ass nigga. <laughs> to me, he's clean as Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know how Rick Ross. Oh, I'll give him better than Ross, no, nigga. I don't even like Ross. Ross. Yeah. I give him. I don't like you Ross. Know, don't, don't go down on Ross so All bad because right. Ross. Because he stole, he stole Ricky Ross' real sauce. Bro. That's, that's it. We I didn't even realize Ross he stole Ross. the whole song. As far as music selection, as far as quality and pieces of mm. music goes, you know what I'm saying? When you see a visual for Rick Ross, when you see a visual for Eli Dow, you know it's a leap. Hell yeah. Ross go stand yeah, you know it's, Ross is, yeah. You know, it's, it's still be honest. It's still be honest. I ain't going to sit here and on Ross because when you yeah. came to Cleveland at the, at the back, Definitely was there thirsty, like, oh, Ross, nigga. <laughs> What's up, my nigga? Oh, shit, Ross in the building, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You hear me? So, what's up? Sub floor, man. Welcome back to the show, man. Yes, sir. So, glad to be here, man. Last time, it was like December, November 2020, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's been that like, long? It's been that long, bro. Damn. You done had a couple Damn. projects drop since then. Like, uh, yeah. Matter of fact, he right. was talking to Sip Lord when he first left. Exactly. Yeah. He was talking about Sip Lord coming funny, out. That's funny, man. That's funny as fuck. I remember that. Yeah. That's and true, fucking you done had this is this thing of ours drop. Hell yeah. Shit, tell us about it, man. You know, last couple. Uh, shout out to my dude, Rex, man. It's funny. Uh, when I first met him, I, I thought he was a producer. You know what I'm saying? He hit me on IG. He like, let's do a tape. I'm like, all right, send me the beats. I heard a beat, so I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Let's Damn, let's so. Doing tapes. I'm thinking he a producer and shit, so. You with the Kanye? I, fin I finally meet him and shit, and I was like, you know, came out that we, he, he was rapping yeah. and shit, but he, like, you heard him, he hard. That's Rex, Rex, Rex Red? Hell yeah, Rex Red. Shout out okay, to Rex, okay. man. And uh, yeah, man, he a beast, man. So once you heard them beats, you was like, all right, then we can, we can, we can collab. Yeah, that's kind of the <laughs> shit I've been on, man. I'm just jumping tape to tape type shit, man. Yeah, I thought you was a more of a dolo artist. For, for when yeah. I first met, I'm like, damn, okay, my yeah. nigga only gonna be on the solo sauce. But that just goes yeah. to show how times change, man. He but as an artist. Why? Right, what is it it's, like? It's so much talent you gotta, cause I don't make beats, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so much talent you gotta, you gotta collab, man. You know. You gotta collab. You gotta right? collab. I man. agree. I agree. There's nothing wrong with collabing either. Niggas be all, at all high press. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that collabing is how you get the sauce. Cause what if y'all collab and make? You know what I'm saying? You hear me? Both y'all got your own projects popping. <laughs> and then you get your party, you know. You elevate the fan. Man. Exactly. You know, Everything. Fans gravitate to yeah, you exactly. and vice versa. You exactly. know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a bigger picture to all of it. You know what I'm saying? Hell <coughs> yeah. Take the grin. Hell yeah. So, Sip Lord, you had hot. You had hot take with on there. You know what I'm saying? How yeah, you shout out to hot take. Uh, like a lot of these producers, uh, shout out to Holy Two. He did No Rest for the Wicked. Okay. I, I went to 
you know, these little, little beat competitions, but they just, they, it's not really a competition, they just play beats, it's like a, right. you know what I'm saying, open mic for, like, like juice, juice, juice. Yeah, yeah. Where they do that at? They be having a lot. Uh, that was in the city? Not, yeah, it's, 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 it's been a lot that's been going on. Uh, Damn, man, it's a lot of shit I do not know nothing but, about. Uh, that's how I met Holy, I, he playing his beats, I'm like, I'm doing the tape with this nigga. You Hold on, so did you tell him about your idea or did you get a, get a beat pack and you just took it from there? Man, we just linked up, man. Mm -hmm. You know, link up like we we a smoke. Let's play some beats. And yeah, let's, let's get shit rocking. Man. Classic you know sauce, classic sauce. When I come up with an idea, like I, for some reason I always go to the dark side, like yeah. No Rest for the Wicked. Mm -hmm. What's up part with that? two, that's, going, that's coming out soon. That's um, one of my questions. What's up with you in the dark side, man? Why not the light side? I don't know. That's it, it's weird because that's the type of beats I pick. They all they all gloomy, like dark. So you know? is you evil? <laughs> Shit. Creepy. Hit them with the creepy. You already did. Did you creepy, my nigga? What you out here doing, my nigga? I got some. I got some rebuttal questions for you too. I'm gonna let, yeah, yeah. let you finish though. So the, you ended up linking about the album, and then it was just on the flow from there. Hell yeah. How long it take y'all to make it? Sip Lord. Shit. Once I get the writing done, like. Cause so you was telling us about it. It was a process. <laughs> Hell yeah, right. hell yeah, it was, for me, when it's, what's, what's, a, what's a hard ass beat, I just, no matter what I'm doing, I'm start, I start writing and thinking and shit. Okay. That's when it's, it's going to take me a couple of days to write, write. Is it hard to pick a theme for an album? Like, all right, boom, I'm going to sit here and lock in on this thing for the whole sauce, like, you know, because niggas be like, all right, money, cash, hoes, bling, bling, right, dope, right, right. and then I'm going to do this for the whole album. Right. But it's like you more talented, <laughs> like <laughs> every more talented. Story, every like that shit, wow! It's like damn, how he think about this shit? Man, you know I'm real in the like, like you're all real in the movies. Okay. You know comics. Yeah. I don't be reading them shits, but you know the movies and shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know I don't know. I just, I just think differently, man. I always was like that. If somebody going left, I'm gonna go right type shit. Okay. I don't know, I always go for that 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 different type shit. I always try to try to make my covers different, my mm -hmm. you know my music already different. Not really, but for Shout out to your cover art. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to your cover art. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, because I, I pay a lot of money for them shit, so I Because it's like I'm like, damn, whoever did these is mad creative. Right here, you know what I'm saying? Mad creative. Well yeah, shout out to the tapers. I'll definitely go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Simp lore and then this is ours. Hold up. Yeah, this this this, this thing of ours, my bad. It's all on Apple Music, man. I know a lot of y'all got Spotify. Did you know it's like Spotify is like nine times as many subscribers than Apple Music? Apple Music got like a hundred million you know, subscribers. It's funny you say that because a lot of people been telling me they like Spotify better than Apple Music. But I don't know why because I fuck with Apple Music. What's the beat? I, I, don't, I used to be on Spotify. Like, I don't like listening to music I don't that like I don't, don't know. I don't like shuffle. I feel like I hear the same yeah. 30 songs. Oh, you, are you ain't lying about that. But it's like when you play shuffle, I'm curious. Do they take all your shit and shuffle it properly? Or, like, do they shuffle extra music in there? Because I'm not trying to handle different music. I don't right. like to hear music that I don't know. Sometimes you know they go off of, like, the, the tones and the sounds that it's on. Hell yeah. They okay, do. maybe keep the melody the same. I ain't gonna lie, because I do be trying to keep it the same. I'm listening to 90s rap, nigga. I play this my own, nigga. Make a radio station on Apple right. Music, and it, don't, it, it, it plays some bullshit. Like, I'm like, like, man, what the fuck is this? Ain't this how Apple came up with iTunes? Like, yeah. nigga, what? I remember them more for iTunes than iPhones. Yeah. I used to be at the crib getting, getting busy. You know, put me on the iPhones for real. So, uh, what's the highs and lows of uh, working with a, a artist or doing features, you know? Uh, you know, the compromise of your creativity, you know what I'm saying? Like, you might want to go do, go this way with the cover and somebody else might want to do something else. Because, you know, Hot Tech didn't even want to... He wanted to do it himself, and I had already had an idea how I wanted to cover it. But y'all had the Italians on there at the, what was that from? What movie was that from? Uh, uh that's actually, that's real, real mob, mob dudes oh, that cover oh, it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought that was right, right. The most popular, Imagine. the most popular name that, that picture is, uh, Fat Tony Salerno. Okay. Genovese's, uh, crime boss. Genovese, okay. I, I know. Oh, we know Sopranos yeah. on it. Yeah. No. No, that, they yeah. from Jersey. It was from Jersey. Yeah. yeah. So, um, do you want to be in a playlist of the new age music, or do you want to change their ear? Like, all right, boom, I'm about to be like the Stephen, Steph Curry, who you mentioned in your music. I'm going to shoot you. Oh, if you like Stephen Curry, how you how he switched up the NBA. Like, all right, now niggas shoot jumpers. Is you about to try to take the music where, all right, nigga, now, nigga, now, nigga, hold up, we lyrical. Because this is like, you do it so easy, easily, niggas right. be trying to put out nonsense. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is like... Is you, I feel like you're going to make these niggas get back to their work. 
What do you uh, think about you that? You know, so naturally it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I, well, I, the way I go about my music, I'm gonna drop fire. Every, I don't want, I don't want not one song to be whack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. Like, a little off type shit. So, and you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the the, the other other music. You know what I'm saying? The new age shit. Yeah, hell yeah. All of it though, like, who would you shout out like on I the think, new age? I think Lil Baby. Rapper. I mean, but not a little, little baby. Like, he about to be it's in the game. That, it's some niggas that I'm talking about this like, old nonsense that would be out. The nonsense like that be in the playlist. NBA young boys. Not to him, like, probably like, like, that bullshit, bro. You know what the hell I'm talking about. Like, that shit be playing on Instagram. I hit it with the booga booga oh. booga. Oh, yeah, that, that shit. Wow. Booga, <laughs> like, yeah. like, that type of shit. Like, that niggas be that literally listening to that yeah. shit. Like, yeah, they, yeah, I don't know. What's your opinion on tapping into the reels and TikTok and shit like that? Man, you know, it's something you got to do. You know, I got a TikTok. I don't, I just don't be on this shit. Cause some, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's people always telling me, you got to, you got to, you got to get TikTok, you know. It's hard, though. It's yeah. like, man, this shit like fucking, I feel like I'm an old person learning about Instagram, you know. When they be like, I don't know, you know, that's not my thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, it's, it's, it's weird, man. But uh, I guess if you want to make it to that level, you got to have all all types of social media. You know what I'm saying? Get your name out there. You ain't lying. So so they, well, go ahead, bro. I see you spend a lot of time in New York, man. What's up with that? <laughs> man, that shit, my second home. It's just, I just be in the hood everywhere, bro. It's, just, it's weird because even the hood in New York is beautiful to me because it's like New it York, is. man. Like, I fuck with New York so hell hard. Hell yeah, bro. Like, I just, they got to be one of my favorite places. I could just sit and just smoke there all day, bro. What like, part of New York like, do you, like, Manhattan, um, Spanish, Harlem? That's where I Everywhere I, shit, man. I went with my nigga Sean, man. We went everywhere. I went, we went to. We went to Marcy, we went mm-hmm. to, we was all in Brooklyn, Red Hook, um, shit, I was all in Jersey, strip clubs, I fucking these strip Damn. Clubs. <laughs> it's crazy how New York's set up, too, like, it's, it's, it's like, damn, it's so much, so many people, it's so, so much, people, it'd be like, damn, when you look at it from me coming on the airplane, you'd be like, damn, it's like a clusterfuck of my Manhattan, yeah. then you look over in the other side, you be like, oh, that's where the fucking right. regular yeah. house is, I don't know, I've been to Jersey, but I was only there to shoot this kid, I didn't go there to... Right. Go to the strip club and shit. But New York, definitely fuck with New York. Yeah, New York is, is, is where it's at, man. Fucking Statue of Liberty, I've been that bitch like three times. How you think that influenced your music? Uh, you know, you know, my pops was a was a was a local DJ and he made beats. So, and you know, I was always raised on that the, the East Coast music. You know what I'm saying? I, okay. It's what I grew up on, but I, I just know good rap, no matter where you're from. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, my dad buys on New York artists, but I like, you know what I'm saying, Andre 3000, you know what I'm saying? I think. Okay. And I, I, grew up, I grew up loving them and them, man. Yeah. But as I look at him and Cadillac, no, Cadillac, Cadillac now, I'll be like, all right, you got the top 10 like I thought you was. I mean, top. I think, I think it all boils down to is the beats. The beats? If you pick good beats, the rest, the, the, the music, the lyrics don't come, man. It's, it's, yeah. it's simple. It's so simple to me. You it's know like what I'm saying? Like, I, 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 I be scratching my head here in these niggas' albums. I'm like, y'all can love the, the free the studio time. And best free, beats. Best beats in the world. You can <laughs> Best features. Right. And y'all be putting bullshit you on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. I mean, I don't know shit. At least we know that when my nigga get a fire beat, we ain't got to worry about nothing. Because he got plenty of them and he yoked them all. I'm fucking with all this nigga music. It's on the floor. Y'all don't hear it. First today, I got a tape dropping about a month or a month and a half. Okay. And Jungle Fever. Produced hey. by this producer. So what's the theme on this one? Well, is we taking the Jungle, Jungle Fever, Fever the movie? Like, like you know what I'm saying? We talking about fucking white bitches? Like, I know the average <laughs> people is going to think about the, you know, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the Jungle Fever. Yeah, the, you know. But it, this is... <coughs> some some real Jungle shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, so you going like, on like, from Jungle... jungle. Yeah, jungle shit. Some like, training like, day type shit. Yeah, like some Jumanji shit. Like, <laughs> some Jumanji. Oh, you know, listen. Stuck in a fucking zoo. You know what I'm saying? With, okay. with animals. You know what I'm saying? Do you got a pistol, my nigga? Yeah. Or you got a or you got a uh a, I got like a machete. I got a machete. I got a blade on my side. <laughs> like Batman. This nigga, oh man, don't say that, man. It's on the flow. I'm excited for this song. Are we having features on this project? Uh, no features on this. It's only seven songs. I'm just okay, cool. this is something to hold people off for this for this next tape. My nigga is working. So you in studio, right? It's safe to say. Yes, you already established that. He's in that bitch. I li- I like to go to the studio prepared. You know what I'm saying? With lyrics written down. I don't mm-hmm. like the freestyle and shit. Okay. So give me, like I said, if this is the beats I choose is beats I 
automatically can write to. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Right. So, you hear it off the rip, like, yeah. oh, yeah, I gotta have that. Jedi order, I'm like, oh. Yeah, that shit was you know wild. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, but I can just write some fire. I'm like, okay. I don't need, I don't need much time. That's all I'm saying. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to keep dropping albums, content, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so Get it to the masses, for real. But, uh, you performing anywhere uh, coming up soon? Uh, Myrtle Beach. Okay. Um, oh, you about to be on the beach with it? Omaha, Nebraska. Okay. Ooh, we. Those are those are the only out of town cities that's been calling me uh, trying to do shows. But okay, Murder Beach might happen though before I'm on Nebraska. So, okay. so what's up with South by Southwest this year? Then since you are uh, going to Nebraska, you be close enough to hit, hit Texas real quick. Uh -huh. Shit, they gotta hit me up, man. What's up, man? <laughs> you say hit my that's, that's up. what it's about getting getting your name to the masses, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. everything you do, like I said, man, at the beginning of the show was top notch, man. Top dots, man, you know what I'm saying? You in the best studio in the life, man. I love the studio sauce. So shout out to uh, Invasion Studio. Shout out to my man, how you ready, man? For the mastery, my nigga, your videos, my nigga. You was Bolo, on shout out to Bolo, man. <laughs> <laughs> life, rap life is expensive, ain't it? Man, you know what I'm saying? saying? Rap life is expensive, ain't it? Man. <laughs> you already know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this shit. I ain't got nothing to say. Oh, hey, gosh. so I'm saying, like, I don't even like thinking about that shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but you, my nigga, you and my man, look, this nigga might be the most influential guy, I feel like, for a Cleveland artist, like, in terms of shots. Like, he was on a yacht with it, but you was on a yacht kicking that. I'm like, this shit is wild. And then he was in front of the tank. I'm like, where we getting to get the tank from? You know, World War II, put a World War II tank out. I'm like, hey, yo, bro. What videos was that from the World War II tank? Jedi Order, yeah. yeah. Was the, uh, that was off, damn, man. If people don't even be noticing, I be, you know what I'm saying, I be driving a lot, so I be just seeing shit and, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, it's a, um, it's a library on Euclid, mm -hmm. and it's right, that's, that's where I shot it at. Okay. But it's a, um, it's another really? one on, um, where that sat, what's that, Richmond or Cedar or something like that? Mm -hmm. But. National, uh, Guard. Where that shit at across the road. Ah, really? Okay, 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 okay. Right there on Miles. I thought that was a little more risky, you know what I'm saying? Go to the National Guard. But damn, it was. I mean, I thought you was out of town. I didn't even know that was here. And But that damn yacht shot, bro, that shit was wild. kids coming out of school watching this shit. They don't even know what's happening. Like, nigga, hold up. You hit me? You hit me? So I'm surprised they didn't come out and say that to you. Nah, that was cool, man. I. Something I had to learn, man, to just jump out your shell and man, fuck anybody watching, nigga. I'm doing my shit, nigga. Oh, okay. Pay money for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know this shit to look right. I don't give a fuck who watching, nigga. Like, I see them one rappers, they shut down in New York. They shut down the damn uh, bridge. You saw that shit? Oh, right. a video? Yeah, they shut the bridge hey, down, bro. New York, wow. Bro. They was New York, tripping, wild, bro. bro. New York, wow. I'm like, oh, y'all niggas on That's a hard shit to do. That's, that's hard, dog. It's probably looking hard, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can shoot a video anywhere in New York. That shit gonna look hard, man. So I got a like a quick fire a little sauce for you. All right, man. It's kind of random because you like the dark side. So I gotta yeah. see what's up. My nigga's the Sith Lord. If y'all watch Star Wars, that's like the darkest nigga in the whole Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so what's up? Oh, Mister Papa, Papa time. Yeah. So I'm saying, would you rather trap or be like be like the super trap guy, like boom, when you know you catching casualties, you know you catching bodies, or would you out here just be like a super assassin? You ever seen Leon the Professional? You know what's so funny? I've yeah. never seen that movie hey. until two days ago. Bro. Hey, that's wild. Wow. That's real. So hey, we got to double on that shit, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So we was yeah. movie. You got to get hit. It's fire, bro. It's fire, bro. It's like, it's fire, bro. It's like Leon the Professional. Leon the Professional. Mm -hmm. But to answer your question, yeah. I would I would probably pick Leon. You would pick Leon. It's like you a, you a ghost. You hey. know what I'm saying? Nobody know who Leon was, you know what I'm saying? Hey, he was getting busy, But you fuck around, try to rob this nigga, this is gonna kill you. you know hey, what I'm work that shit. Like, hey, he was. Nobody like, need to know what you're doing. I'm curious what to see doing? what he would be like in 2020. Like, you know what I'm saying? They should remake that movie. They should. 94? Yeah. They should remake that movie. Nigga, I was three for, years old. For that time, that's the The best movie. movies came out, like, around that area. Day, I've been saying this for weeks now. I wish I could just go back to the 90s. And just, you know, for real, just kick it. That was the best of times between music, no, swapping. everything. That shit was just, you know. So. Oh, I can watch that shit tonight. I'm going to tap into that. Would you rather be a politician or a rebel? Rebel. Why well, a rebel? Because you hate. As, as a politician, you got to lie, man. It's just it's period. You got to be cat out. You got to lie. You got you to gotta, you gotta tell people what they want to hear. Mm-hmm. Um, 
people hate hate, hate to hear, but Trump was, was smart as fuck doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that nigga was moving, but he was just like moving so like without no sympathy or like without I no mean, you gotta move that apologetic way. nothing. So niggas was getting yeah. mad and sensitive. He wasn't sensitive about nothing. Nothing. So Anakin or Luke, bro? Ah, thank you for asking that question. That's gonna lead up to this one. I already know. Yes, sir. Damn, that's a good ass question, man. You hear me? You say a lot of son. Anakin or Luke, man. Dwight. For those, right. for those who don't know. Damn. You, you a know what? person. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get deep with it and say Anakin, because Anakin can still live through Luke. Hey. Hey, see this hey. why this nigga is legendary, man. What the fuck? Cause only a legendary nigga think about some shit like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, that was crazy. That was that was a good ass answer. Hey, that was the greatest answer was I might have heard answer. that I've ever answered the question. So we gonna parlay to this. And you know we was just talking about this downstairs. Man, this that was, was a great answer. Hold on, man. No. I just can't get over that, bro. <laughs> we gonna let wow. Disney Plus. You know they got the whole Star Wars package now. You tapped in? Hell yeah. You bit tapped in? He said, hell yeah. In. Oh, it's okay. Just playing, okay. You just passed me this one. Yeah, yeah. Get the joint out here. A little yeah. bit. Now. I'm up to date on everything, yeah. So what do you think about... Uh, I'm not. Anyway. I'm not up to date on everything. We're not going through this again, B. You so you just can't, but you can't just say some straight Boy, up Spoiler alert! No. What do you think about uh, Rosario? No. What do you think about Rosario <laughs> Wilson as Come a Come on, man. I thought that shit was, you know, it's so funny. I thought that shit was gonna happen anyway, cause she looked just yeah, like kind of like a yeah, like easy you know what for that one. I'm happy I missed it because I don't know what the hell you're talking about. But um, yeah, they just the acting, the everything is just just perfect. It's just perfect, huh? It's perfect. Well, I'm happy. Do you think he really the key to everything? Right I'm now? happy about this. Uh, cause in Boba Fett, they even have like a little cut scene. You know I still saying? haven't seen Clone Wars. Wars. Clone Wars still like it's a lot of it got a lot right. of. Food. I seen Clone Wars. See, I'm ahead of y'all. Let's go, baby. I didn't see Clone Wars. It's six seasons of cartoons. Seven. But it got a saying by Yoda at the beginning. It's like, wait, fire. You got to watch that to kind of understand Boba Fett and the Mandalorian a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, because Boba Fett's a fucking asshole. Boba Fett is literally That nigga is the definition of a mercenary. It's like Boba Fett is literally stripped from Clone Wars and got his own show. So... I mean, just to be honest, strip my bad from the Star Wars sauce, but back to the music mm-hmm. sauce real quick. Uh, your music made me feel like I'm riding in the back of a Maybach with <laughs> some Kanye. Like I'm a boss. Like I'm just like, all right, or I'm just listening to one of the most savage niggas. Didn't I just say this? This is the Ross reference, man? Hey, that's nah, I'm not talking about Ross, really though. Saying? I'm talking about as a, as a listener. Is that what right. you're going for as for your listener to catch? Or like, what, is, it, what, is that what you put, put them in vision? Man, that's, that's funny you said that. Yeah, man. I mean, I just know if, if I think it's hard, I'm like, people don't think this shit. There's no way you think you're going to think, listen to this and think this shit. Like, you know like, There's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, sir. Trust me, if I couldn't rap, bro, I would not be doing this shit. But, no <laughs> shit bro. So you nigga like a nigga with, with expensive taste. He's like, all right, boom, everything I like. Because I have expensive takes, it's going to be polished. That's yeah, how it is like, in the rap game. Once you hear that beat, so you're like, like, if I like it, lyrics, it's about to be. Man, it's crazy. How, I mean, it, I, I'm really, like, you know, really impressed by the, you know, by the, by the soft and talent, man. My nigga ain't playing about this shit, man. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? I'm happy that, because I envision that shit. That's what I feel. Yeah, like. yeah. That's what I felt. So, with you being in New York so much, is that sometimes you, you talking to labels or you just going to go straight independent? Like, you doing distribution deals possibly? What you got in the works for that? I'm trying to just build a fan base right now. That's what I'm trying to mm-hmm. do is get my name on other states. That's why I, <clears throat> if you peep, I've been referencing just chilling on like chilling on Myrtle. That's a you know what I'm saying street on Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying like okay mm-hmm. referencing. You know what I'm saying. So if they hear it on XM, they are gonna think we're like hold up, this nigga okay. You know let's yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, you, know you, you connected to all and avenues. Plus, I, I really do. I, you know what I'm saying. You like, was right. You're right. Cause you well, you got some people stay out there or something or. Bro, I just drive. Like last time I went by myself, I, uh, my dude um, stay out there and, uh, right in Brooklyn. Um, he do he do videos and photos. So yeah, I went last time when I shot that boat video. Yeah, I went dolo. Angle was crazy. Crazy. Come on, like blue water was out. extra blue. <laughs> oh my like, damn. That shit was hard though, man. This nigga got really beautiful ass ideas. Mm-hmm. So seven dollars. 
smooth. Yeah, let, let New York get too far. It's just crazy that this these places are so. When I drove back from California, I'm like, damn, nigga, these places is in the fucking. It's yeah, not. It's yeah, in the it place. Why? It it's vicinity. not like it's like untouchable. Right. It's like you can literally drive to New York and be in New York City mm -hmm. with the Big Apple, the greatest place in the world. What they say, you know, all that shit is seven hours away. And that's wild, you know. Next like, take you though. You'll drive back. Oh no, what was it? Took me three days, four days. I was with my dad. I left. I was deciding if I was gonna stay in California if I was gonna drive home. So I drove to Vegas, and then I stayed in Vegas for like two weeks. My dad met me in Vegas, and then I drove home. And nigga, it took like it took. We I only drove during the night. I mean the daytime. Right. So at six p.m., nigga, I'm going to a hotel. So it took us three days. So it wasn't too bad. That's smooth. If you break it down like it that. It was yeah. fun. I mean, my dad is kind of a, huh, watch my dad's episode, and you all see who my dad is. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, but it was it was a hell of a job, and I'm happy that we did that. So, you know, it's, it's cool to, to check out the, the scenery, I guess. I think it was on Route 66 and shit. So, uh, in your music, man, you got a lot of samples, bro. Like, you know, you got some Jim Ross in there. You got some Star Wars in there, bro. What's up, man? Uh, yeah. Is this shit easy to clear, my nigga? You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta worry. About, like, you ain't gotta worry about none of this shit. Hey, you know what's so funny you said? Since they so popular, man. It's not even a Star Wars sample, but it sounds like it, don't it? Oh uh, yes, it sounds nah, exactly nah, like man. it. That's what. That's crazy. We try to stay away from that shit, though. But uh, all that Star Wars sounds is not Star Wars. Okay. Yeah, because man. nigga, I thought I was in the movie. Yeah, yeah. So like, you know what I'm saying? It's a vinyl we picked up, uh, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's raw. It's like a, you know what I'm saying? Like a. Oh, it's cool. Sure. Yeah. That's pretty cool how they got that. Okay. Because the guy, you know. Damn, you got him giving up the I love it. I mean, no, it ain't, you know. They ain't going to be able to use it right, man. Some, some might, though. Right. They ain't going to be able to figure it out. So how hard was it to include your, uh, you know, Star Wars into your lyrics, you know? I mean, cause It you, wasn't hard because I, cause I, lo I, you know what I'm saying, I love the shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I know the characters, I know the places. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to. Before to sound hard for people who don't know Star Wars, yeah, like, you know who's you worried you about that? Like, oh, these niggas might not even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I wasn't though. You know, what's so funny. My my pops heard it and mm -hmm. he heard um, that Princess on the Dollar shit. Mm -hmm. He was like, "What you talking about? Your your mama ain't dead and shit." I'm like, I started rolling this. <laughs> I'm like, "Damn, you ain't you ain't even hit to the movie, but uh, right, you was actually spitting the lyrics. Yeah, like I mean, like the, the, speaking the, from not me, but Anakin perspective." Yeah. That See, that's not a dollar. I was, I was him speaking. You know what I'm saying? And that's what the hell you be thinking about when you be writing music, hell second yeah. and third and first persons. <laughs> <laughs> this man is amazing. Amen. Hey, Amen. so Amen. that's crazy. So I mean, is you not worried or none of that? Huh? You wouldn't worry when you was making it. I would have been like, damn, these niggas gonna be puzzled. I don't want to go too deep into the saga. You know, but I guess you wasn't, huh? Either, either they look, like Star Wars and listen to my shit, or they don't like it, they go listen to my shit and go fuck with Star Wars after that. So, it's May the 4th, man. May the 4th coming up. I mean, that's tomorrow. May the 4th. So, be May the 4th be, 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 be with you. May the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. So, are you celebrating, my nigga? Because I was already watching the saga, and I'm like, damn, May the 4th coming up. I'm going to celebrate and drop some shit. Yeah, <laughs> you got to watch one episode or something. Hell yeah. Speaking of episodes, what's your favorite episode of Star Wars? You hear me? Cause I'll tell you mine's right now. That's a good ass fucking Yeah, question. it's only six. I'm talking about the main six. You ain't gotta worry about that. Really. Rogue One might be my favorite prequel. That might be Rogue? one of the best movies ever made. My dad said the same shit. I, I, I might agree with you on that. That might be one of the best movies that Star Wars ever made. I mean, they made in the studio. Vigorous. But my favorite one, since you take it too I really long. love the new hope, man. I a new it. hope, a new hope is fire, bro. I, I like how they build up too. It take a second, you be yeah, like, yeah. man, hurry up, and then they get to the sauce quick as fuck. Immediately. Yeah, yeah. So what? Let's see. I like uh, episode. What is it? Six. When he turned into Dark Vader, and they got to kill him or the three. Which one was when Anakin gets chopped in half? Is that episode oh, that's, three? That's, 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 that's three? Yeah, yeah, I think it's three. three. Yeah, so that's my favorite. That's my favorite one. Because that movie is from the beginning. It's from the start. Of, it's the big, you know, the big antagonist. It's the big right. end. I like all that. Then we can start working. The one with Yoda, when he start working with Papa Team. But I, at the, the last movie, the last movie in the saga, I only seen it one time. 
What's up, my boy? What's, what's good you over there, bud? <laughs> I think you over there in trouble. So it's a, it's just like I don't know what's with the Papa team. So it's just like I don't know. You didn't got me in chalk my memory. Anyway, mine is a uh, Return to the Jedi. That's my favorite. Mm. Return to the Jedi. So tell me, refresh me. Which what happens in that one? That's when they. Uh, that's what actually when Boba Fett dies when he. Uh, you know, oh, when he gets handcuffed plane, and he goes into the you know. The, oh, you uh, know what? Damn, yeah, that's damn. Yeah, that's that's, a, that's a which one? Game. I can't think of which that's one. That's what turned when, uh, when he saved uh, Hans from uh, uh, when he was from the arms. arms. Oh yeah. yeah. And then uh, shit, that's actually when Luke lost his hand. Well, shit, I wish they had give me the one that he had. Shit, because that bitch is fire. You want this? Yeah. Is it on you or is it on Jordan? It's on uh, So I mean, would you, who would you do? Who would you want to do a remix with? Like you know, if you got to do a remix to a song that's on Sith Lord. Who would you want to do it that they can tap into the to the Star Wars sauce and do it just as well? Yeah, I almost had Danny Brown on Obi Wan. <laughs> really? Yeah, it was close. But what, what made you? What happened? What made you keep your dodo? Um, that nigga flanked on me, man. Well, it's, man, it's, flanked on man, me. this shit so hard, dodo. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, we ain't worried about that shit. So, what? Well, that's your favorite song? Is that your favorite song on Sith Lord? Favorite song? Shit, it's a hard one, man. That's why, I, damn, I love Jedi Order, but Obi Wan is a hard ass song. Yeah. Be the first song on the tape. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's a hard one, but yeah, I might go Obi Wan. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I already asked you that. So, why you chose the dark side again? Like, um, why you not a rebel? So. Uh, yeah, I just Luke. always felt like that's how society seen me, man. As a nice, as nice as I am, they always seen me as a as a as a bad person. As a I, was always, I was always blamed for shit, bro. Really, bro? At school, what you bro, know, my nigga, cool as fuck. Bro, in third grade, bro, they they tried to say I wiped the whole computer system, bro. Of the whole right, of the bro. whole school. Yes, bro. Like the <laughs> nigga pulled me in like after computer class. In shit. third grade, like damn, what up, master? Right, this shit. Like, 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 what school did you go to? Mind or something? Like, what, what school was you at? I was at um. Was you at Shaker? Yeah, I was at um. Damn, no, I had to come to third. It was Woodbury. It had to be like I forgot what the grade was. Yeah, Woodbury. That's like. So this nigga pulled me after uh, computer class. Like <clears throat> I asked everybody around. They said if anybody could do it, it would be you. Damn. Like, you know it was Eli. Like, I don't even know how to. You know, I don't even know how to exit out this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, man, that's wild. Oh, that shit crazy. So that's third grade action. Huh? Shaker be on that bullshit. Mm. Yeah, I think you graduated from Shaker, man. Yeah, yeah. Shaker since, since we since we on Cleveland. What's it? You know, uh, draft is this weekend. What yeah. do you think about the Browns this year? I think we solid, man. I also agree. That, uh, like, that nigga, uh, people, Deshaun Watson, might play earlier than we thought. I tell this to the Browns fans. Had this year, stop man. worrying about players getting, like, leaving us. Watson can do a lot with little. And he man. has an O line for the next two, three, four years. Guaranteed. Nick Chubb, next two, three, four years. Yeah, we, yeah, we got them there. Everybody you see up. what he did with Houston? He had a. He led the league in passing yards with no man. number one receiver. I mean. No O line, man. And we picked up yeah, two man, in the I drive, too. Them. I mean, he ain't leaving. They traded him, but... That's what I'm saying, though. They be... You know how they do in the NFL. Yeah, so, man. I'm excited for this year, definitely. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm not excited. I'm, I'm not... see how much games he gets suspended from. I'm not upset about uh, the Cavs. They, I think yeah, they did good. Next question. Did you expect the Cavs to go to the playoffs? Or, I mean, play in tournament? You know, I, I didn't because I didn't know where, what Darius Garland was going to jump, but he, he made that jump. Like he he, did, he, did. he is he, a good scorer. He's he a good official. I think he do a good job as well. And it's like his sec, like his second half. Injuries messed us up. Man. That's what it was. Yeah, and what's that one? Yeah, you hear me? Yes, sir. We got a couple fumbles in the end, or like a couple mental breakdowns. So I'm yeah. like, man, yeah, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what the hell is this, Carousel? Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, you hear me? So I'm gonna get you out of here on this, man. So, man, I'm saying like. My nigga, you been on a yacht kicking and riding. You know what I'm saying? Rolling in tanks, you know what I'm saying? Pull it up. Yeah, yeah. So what's next, man? What's the next power play you got coming up, man? I'm trying to get in the jungle, man. With real 
I sacrificed my life for this video to look hard, this hard, man. Man, damn, man, damn man, really? To be in a cage with a cheetah, bro, I'd do that shit. This bro. thing about the travel. Because I know that shit'll look hard as fuck, I'd do that shit. What you about to travel to fucking Indian jungles? Nah, you like, like right I, I looked around, there's like, nothing really. I really, I want to go to the zoo or some shit. No, I'll let that yeah, you into a zebra or some shit. I might, maybe a green Brooklyn, room or some shit. Maybe the Brooklyn Zoo or, um. I mean, not the green. Uh, they got a green, they green house. Zoo, uh, where they Madagascar was out of shit. We were ah. in Manhattan and shit. But uh, if Damn. I can't get to Florida and do some real jungle shit, I'll, I'll probably do it in, in New York. In New York? My nigga said, hold yeah. up. So, yeah, because we ain't got no jungle aspect in Cleveland. Yeah, I couldn't. We do not <laughs> So, you're going to so do they one got the little video? Here, or? Right there, out there on the way to uh, Cedar Point. They got the little drive through oh. here and shit. You know what I'm oh yeah, they do got that. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. But dude, they got some fire ass leaves. You need the whole right, field. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need a tarantula in that bitch, nigga. Ah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Lucky I ain't got labels putting millions on my video. Like, man, where the fucking Tropic Thunder was at, man. Hey, <laughs> ah, he said I'm not gonna be in now. Hey man, man that shit hard as fuck. In Vietnam, that'd be amazing. But yeah, that's some creativity that I'm sure that we about to tap into, man. Man, I'm excited for the next project. Yeah, yeah. We had you before the first project. I'm excited to have you on after yeah. the sauce you didn't drop. The yeah, sauce yeah. is out now, bro. Yeah, yeah. Go check it out. It's on all the fucking app. Don't don't go to Apple Music. Everywhere, oh. everywhere. <laughs> you listen to us on there. Eli like Don, E L I T H A D O N. Go get it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for tuning into another episode of the Cloudy Kickback, and we will see you next time. Hey. Yeah.